Hey, welcome back to the Marvel and DC Theorist and Marvel and DC Explain. And if you're new here, welcome. Let's get into this. Dude, I'm so excited. I made so many videos. I just looked back at my catalog. I have a video titling back from, well, tracking back to November 1st of 2022. And some before even that. Um, talking about Joe Locke and how they were like ramping up and casting people for Agatha all along, which at the time was titled the Coven of Chaos, um, House of Harkness. We had all types of different retitles and stuff. Anyways, we're getting into this news that I myself, I'm excited about. Like, when I mean excited, Wiccan is here, y'all. If I'm, like, dude, they're telling us, like, the character teen is legit Wiccan. And this video, I made some videos, like I said, even recently, talking about Joe Locke's character being teen. Well, Joe Locke's character teen being Wiccan. But in this video, we're here to break it down and give you all, all the clues on to why. And it's mainly from this exact TV spot. Notice how with the magic, Agatha's magic is purple. Uh, Scarlet Witch's magic is like red. That chaos magic is like reddish, whatever. And then um, Wicked. Um, this new TV spot that dropped like last week before, uh, I think a couple of days after the, um, the first two episodes premiere. We get this right here where it's like, dude, okay, um, are y'all letting us know that this guy here, which might be a combination of Nicholas Scratch, um, like the human body by me, Nicholas Scratch, but the reincarnated version will be William Kaplan, which is um, literally um, Billy Maximoff. And it, this will get confusing and i don't think marvel's going to go down that route of doing the whole children's crusade and all that good jazz because there's a lot of key elements with characters like one oakling being established the young avengers already being established at that time point so i don't think they're going to go fully down that rabbit hole i think we're just going to get tidbits and pieces speaking of the young avengers tying right into that also the character um i think his name was Teddy or something like that or Eddie um, because Teddy is the actual name of Oakling in the comics but this guy's name is Eddie now it could be a coincidence but I do think it's either a that this they they're, they're giving us a young Avenger in this show and we'll get the reveal at the end of this we could get two post credit scenes for the finale uh, one setting up other stuff like young Avengers and then other with the mystical side of the um mcu or give it could be a secret wars like letting us know wanda's alive she's in latvia with dr doom you know how crazy would that be just speculating and just geeking out but um not even talking to that i think we might get that because agatha um at, i forgot which run it was but agatha definitely has showed hoakland and wiccan what was it quote unquote new possibilities um yeah hoakland and wiccan um infinity comic number one so we just get some some agatha in in this series and i i brought up this specific issue because we might get some nods to this in this agatha all along especially with hulkling um might make an appearance and we know that joe Locke's character definitely looks exactly like bro same exact hairstyle joe Locke's character is pretty much in different shots too practically has that exact same hairstyle as wiccan you know there's no way to deny that and the fact that this guy name is eddie in this show uh, which is literally too close to teddy or it's like they're telling us and the blue magic like i said this blue magic is a dead giveaway a dead giveaway and there, there's there's a new shot like i said especially right here shout out to roku this dropped two days ago and it gave us this confirmation um that hey yeah wiccan is here definitely i feel like this was definitely letting us know right here that this is him wicked is here that blue magic that is all wicked dude that is 100 percent all wicked so yeah i'm pretty hyped y'all let me know i definitely wish they would have got the og actors that started this whole entire franchise uh julian and i forgot the other dude's name but still though i still can see them returning um, making a cameo. I wish they would have just aged them up, you know, brought them back and then aged them up because those actors were pretty cool. What we, you know, what we got in WandaVision. But, anyways, enough of me ranting. Y'all let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. How hyped are y'all? 
for this uh this new agatha all along revealed that might catch a lot of us off guard hopefully it's not a troll and we will get the reveal of wiccan dude and like i said the 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 freaking post credit scene i won't be surprised if this post credit scene will be like kamala khan um and kate bishop recruiting uh wiccan's character and being like hey you got a brother your mom's wanda your your, your brother's in this juvenile detention or whatever because freaking speed was a badass he was bad all right <laughs> but um whoever they cast for that i'm very intrigued and interested to see who's the the aged up version of speed you know um thomas shepherd anyways enough of me geeking out of course as y'all can hear i'm so happy these are two of my favorite well not they're they're these two are definitely up there in my top 10 favorite characters because wiccan is definitely like up there like dang near almost omega level mutant level type stuff like dude's very strong like i believe in one issue i believe did he become sorcerer supreme in one run i don't know y'all let me know in the comment section down below but hey what do y'all think of this reveal the news i'll catch you on this video live stream don't forget to follow and subscribe